Hi guys, how you doing today? So there was a challenge in a couple of my makeup groups to do a Hanukkah themed makeup. So being Jewish and it being the third day of Hanukkah, of course, duh. Although I am doing this kind of late and I should have done a lot earlier. So here's my, um, my nice Mio Nora and also my little Star of David pendant because I mean, why not? I do have other Hanukkah shirts. I just need to do some alterations on them to make them fit better. So let's do this. We're going to go for a blue look, of course, because you know, blue and silver kind of goes along with for whatever reason. I don't know why exactly those colors are what usually is depicted, but that's it. That's, that's the colors usually. Um, I'm not going to use primer. I'm, I'm not going to use a setting spray because I'm doing this and then washing it off and going to bed because it, again, it's late at night. I am going to use the Nikki Tutorials palette to start off with. I'm going to use these two down here, Amsterdam and Mama Tutorials because I think those would be lovely colors to do. Um, I might actually use a little bit of pot twist over here, this really light blue as like up here more. Let's see if that clean. Clean enough. I do need to prime my eyes. I almost forgot. It's the Too Feast Born This Way multi-use concealer stuff. I'm not even giving it a full name, but you know, Too Forced, Too Faced Born This Way. That's all you need to know. And it is technically a concealer, but you can also use it as a foundation. I use it most of the times as my eye base. And you can do your base first if you like. I like doing my eyes first because then if there's any kind of fallout or mistakes, it's easier to clean it up. Did not get as much on this side clearly as I did on that side. Give it a little bit more. See if we can try to make this look even-ish. There we go. I can totally hear the forensic files music in the background <laughs> because that's what Kevin's watching in the other room. All right, there we go. Now we've got our base. Now plot twist, literally the color plot twist is what we're going to put up in here. It's very light. It doesn't hardly show up, but it'll give us that nice blue tone for our, um, Transition up to our eyebrow row. Oh, I didn't grab my eyebrow stuff when I grabbed other things. Where is my eyebrow stuff? There it is. Got it. I didn't grab mascara either. Huh? Well, it's right there. I know it is. My craft table has craft slash makeup table has been a hot mess for a while. I have been working on, um, teapot sun catchers. That was the wrong brush to use for that. And that was absolutely full of brilliant blue. This is the Amsterdam. I'm just going to try to uh, see, this is why I do my eyes first. Cause this is going to make a big old mess because this was not the right brush to do this with. But once I had the color on there, well, might as well frack and go for it. I don't want to waste the waste. I just, cause I was being a tart and grabbed the wrong brush. It was, yeah, that was absolutely the wrong brush for this, but, and this is de definitely not going to be enough color for this side of my eye, but you know, we'll work with it. We'll get more with the right brush in a minute. Actually, that side doesn't look horrible. <sighs> Let's try switching brushes to a shader like this. Kind of try to buff that out a little bit up into the light color. Honestly, I do actually want that on my entire lid. Whew. So maybe I would have been okay with the fluff. I don't know. Just want to go all over this dark, dark blue. Make sure I've got it well into the crease. And for me, because my eyes are kind of hooded, I also usually go just slightly above the crease. Don't worry, I'm not just going to leave my eye this big pit of dark. We are going to use other colors. Okay. 
Isn't that a pretty color, though? I mean, really, Amsterdam. Kind of almost wish I had overdone this side like I did the other with the gone back in with the fluffy brush and really gone crazy. It's okay. It just keeps layering it until it looks right on Sam on both sides. It's so one thing that's really nice about this palette. It was um, Nikki Tutorials collab with Beauty Bay and it's a good formula. It builds, the color builds well. There is some fallout in the pan, but I don't really care about fallout in the pan. What I'm more worried about is how pigmented is it? How well does it go on my eyes? And do I have fallout on my face? Which I don't so far, so that's good. All right. Let's see how we look in here. It's definitely more pronounced on one side than the other. You can bring that up a little bit here. And this is super duper pigmented, as you can see. Don't get freaked out. Again, I'm not leaving this just one big old dark pool on my eyes. It's just not how it's going to go. It's just how it's starting. No. We need to fix this over here because that is a hot mess and that's because I had it on the big fat fluffy brush and it didn't belong on the big fat but fluffy, fluffy brush. It's going to be hard to clean. Which is why we're using the makeup remover wipe and then we can re put some concealer over there before we do our lower lashes because that was just a hot mess. Hot mess and a half. All right. Fixed. There should be a little bit of it left on here. Yeah. All right. Now we need this guy, the skinny little thing, and we're gonna grab a little bit more of that Amsterdam and just go under the eye, just a tiny bit, not a huge amount, just a little of the outer corner to tie it up into the rest over here. There we go. This brush feels really stiff for some reason. It doesn't usually feel this stiff. I mean, it is a stiff brush, but it feels really stiff. Okay, that's about right. All right. Clean that brush off real quick on my makeup wipe. Well, yeah, that's just... I just don't want that much blue across my whole under eye. Now, we are going to go into Mama Tutorials right here. I think. Yes. Ooh. I kind of went thick on there. I'm going to put that under here. Huh? I'm trying to be careful with Mama Tutorials because it is definitely a glittery one. And you do have to be careful with glitters around your eyes. Not everybody's comfortable with it. It's okay if you don't want to use glitter around your eyes. I like it though. I think it's pretty. I'm just taking that along the other half of the bottom, well, two thirds of the bottom. I'm kind of trying to blend it out over this a little to the side. All right. Now, I'm just going to use my finger 
and go back into Mama Tutorials. <sighs> Sorry, I, the the fallout was killing me. I'm just gonna add that in here. Ooh, it's pretty, isn't it? I actually really like the way it looks over the top of that dark blue too. This is why I said don't worry about the fact that it looks like it's crazy dark because we're going to fix that. And fix it we did. Oh, that was not intentional right there. Just gonna, mm. All right, let me finish doing it before just in case I make another big old blue like that. I mean, it's not the end of the world that's there. It's just kind of far up my nose is all. All right, there we go. See, this is why we keep a makeup wipe. So I can clean our fingers off when we do things like that. That really is kind of crazy. Yeah, that's too much. That's... I don't know why I keep messing up. Probably because I'm tired and it's late. I need to fix over here, but it kind of got too much. Probably should have used a brush. There we go. That's better. Same over here. Just fix that a little bit. See, all better. Like nothing ever happened. Yeah. All right. Next, what do we do next? Silver. This is Buxom. I don't know the name of the color. It's one of their singles, but it's this really pretty silver here. I want. I'm gonna use this little precision brush because I just want to get it in the corner, and not too crazy, any too far out. Uh, maybe I'll use my finger and put a little over the front of Mama Tutorials right there, too. Just to kind of give it a little lighter, like it's getting darker as it goes over. Okay. And then again, that little tiny brush to get it into the absolute corner. Got on my finger again. I'm really good at making a mess on my fingers with my makeup. All right. Ooh, there is fallout on my shirt now. Ooh, sorry about that. Ooh, goodness. Okay. Now, what do we want to do for liner? Get some nice dark liner. Well, I've got this really dark blue that's ooh, my Harry Potter Ravenclaw stuff. I wonder if I can make that look cute. This brush kills me. It's like really fat for doing an eyeliner with. It's I'm not a big cream gel and use a brush liner girl anyways. Let me try though. Well, that really doesn't show much, does it? I mean, it kind of shows. I will up here. Well, kind of. Oh, 
Jesus. Some go to my lower lash line. I did not want it there. Um, that's okay. It's not very visible. I guess it'll do. Only because I really don't want to have to do again. I don't want to have to redo my whole eye just to make it darker. It's, it really doesn't hardly show up though, does it? I'm just worried that if I try to put a black over the top of this that it's not going to work right great because this isn't dried down. And all my black liners are not cream gel. See, all I did was meant it looks like I just... I don't know if you can tell. It looks like I just pulled up all the silver instead of actually getting blue on my eye. I just pulled up the makeup. Well, that sucks. I mean, it a plus for their for the effort on the packaging because it totally looks like the brush looks like a quill that goes into the top of the pot, and then this part screws off to get to the gel liner. It's super cute. Don't get me wrong. It, it is super duper cute. It just doesn't seem to be doing a lot for me in this case. Maybe this, I wonder if this blue liquid will. Is this one the one that looks lighter than it really is or is it really that blue? I think that's really that blue. Okay, let's see if we can't make it darker with this. At least on that inner corner. That is better, yes. I mean, there's no point in even doing it too far out this way because it'll get lost out here. It's just too dark. Well, it's basically the same color. I mean, I got a little bit of a wing there. It's just not very visible. All right. Good enough. Now, I want a clean shading brush. And I'm going to grab some of that plot twist real quick. That really light one. And just kind of... Blend up here and blend under here a little bit to kind of soften that blue line. Up here where it's not as bad, but there was a little bit of harshness that needed to be fixed. Smoke it out, I guess, would be a way of putting it. Just kind of make it not such a harsh line. All right, now. I had thought about trying to draw a Star of David over here in the corner, but it might be kind of difficult to do considering it's not dark for the entire corner. I've got this great silver pencil, but I don't know how well. Yeah, that's not going to show on the top half. It'll show on the blue a little. Oof, stop, stop. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I think I'm going to put that on pause for a minute. Um, let's see. Where is the mascara? This is my lovely Cup O mascara. It's all mascaras and brow products. Like, that's what the whole thing is. <laughs> in a mug because why not could have gone really crazy and done it the white mascara I don't think that would have necessarily been cute you know I'm not sure I'm digging the blue I don't think it's I don't think it's right let's browse where's the black there's a black one. This is Lily Lashes. I don't know. It came out of some subscription box. I don't want that one either. <laughs> I know. I'm being bad. I don't know. Where's... I guess we'll get... Oh, that's a cool case. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. That 
one should work pretty well. I could probably put on lashes, I suppose, but I don't feel like digging them out. And I'm just going to be taking them right back off, too. Do I really want to go through the tassel of lashes? I think about that. I probably could have used the blue mascara underneath. I would have used my liquid lash extensions, but that stuff is hardcore. And again, I'm washing this right back off, probably. There we go. That'll work for now. I got mascara on my cheek. I don't know how I did that. Well, you know what? That doesn't matter because guess what? We haven't done that yet. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Couldn't just wipe off easy. No, it's got a smudge. All right. That is that. Um, let's do the. We're just going to go simple. We're just going to use the Unbelievable Brow by L'Oreal. I use the color blonde because, you know, I am. It just gives it, I mean, it's not a lot darker than my natural brows, but it's darker enough to make them slightly more visible because I do have the problem of invisible brows, almost invisible brows. I mean, they're there and they've got a good, wow, that was too much product. They're there. They've got a good shape. They're just, they're dense even. They're just, you know, blonde. There we go. Quick brows because quick as I'm rolling tonight. All right. Put that up there. Let's go ahead and grab our next can't stop, won't stop foundation. Actually, do I want to try this other one? I got this one. Kosas, I think. Tinted face oil. Since I'm not going for a crazy look, and I... See, it's, it's really liquidy, though. I get super liquid. Like, if I tried to put that straight onto my face, it would drip. It's super liquidy, but it might be just fine for this since we're not going hardcore on a look and we're not leaving it on and we're not priming. <laughs> smells funny. I don't like the smell of this. I tried using it one other time, but I used it at the same time as using a couple other new products and something caused me problems like with breathing, but I don't know if it was this or one of the other things I tried at the same time. So I was like, you know, I'll have to try it again later. Give it a shot. What I think is weird about it is that it's so thin. I mean, like 
it, if you had one of those airbrush things, you could totally put it in it. It's that thin. Which, of course, makes it a little bit hard to do it with a beauty blender. Definitely gives you a, a dewy look more than a matte. So if you're a matte girl, you probably don't want this stuff. Because it is an oil, as it puts. If you have oily skin, you probably don't want it either, for that matter. Because it is a face oil, it says. A tinted face oil. But the color's not bad for me, at least. It's a pretty good match, at least to winter skin. Except I need just a tiny bit more, I think. I'm afraid to put too much of it on my hand at a time to work, grab with a sponge only because it's so liquidy. It just runs everywhere. Why is this cheek so incredibly pink? Oh, right. Because I was being stupid and picking at a zit right before I did this. And it's just irritated at me for that. Oh, God, this stuff is really oily. Now, this stuff is weird. I don't know how I like how I feel about it. It just feels funny on my skin. And I don't know how well it's really getting in there. I don't know if it would be better if I actually had a primer or not. Which I'm not doing today. It's just, it's messy and it smells funny. That's my opinion of it. It's messy and it smells funny. All right. What's next? Powder. Next. Can't stop, won't stop finishing powder. And somewhere I have a powder puff. There it is. I guess I could put the brown lashes mug back where it belongs. This is a tiny little container of this. I ran out of my big one and I haven't gone and gotten more yet. And this was a little, like, sample-y size that I got free, I think. Oh. I think it was, like, one of those gift with a purchase deals that I got this. I just remember it was, like, this little guy and I think a small, yeah, a small butter gloss and a small pore filler primer. The three of them came together. And I, like I said, I think it was a gift with purchase kind of situation. No, oh, I didn't grab bronzer. Good job, Donica. I'm trying to think if I even can reach the bronzer without having to get up. I don't know that I can. This desk is not just makeup. It's makeup and it's craftiness and it's notebooks and pencils and whatnot. It's a multi-purpose desk. Yeah, I can't reach the bronzer. Hold on. Oh, where's the water? There he is. I think I finally hit pan and killed the smaller one of these. <gasps> Oh, I just smacked my knee into the desk. That did not feel good. Um, this is uh, Take Home the Bronze from the Balm in the color Oliver. Oh, that was a little too much of that. Oh, that's fantastic. Either that or the lighting in here is just really bad. No, I really just put way too much on there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. How am I going to fix that side of my face? This side is more accurate, but still looking a little too toasty brown. This is Oliver, right? I didn't get the wrong color, did I? Yeah, it's Oliver. It's the same one I usually get. All of a sudden, I'm like, it's the first time using this one. Did I grab the wrong one? What did I do? Usually I just put it like from the under the cheekbone and down, but 
Oh, that's too much. I don't even know what am I going to do. Let's see if there's enough of this in here to kind of diffuse it. A little fix that mistake because that was way too much bronzer. Well, the contour definitely worked. My face looks much thinner than it usually does. Than it is. Looks like high school skinny. Wouldn't we all like to be high school skinny again? I mean, unless you're one of those lucky people that still is high school skinny. In which case, good for you. That's fantastic. Or if you weren't skinny in high school, well, you know, it happens. Honestly, high school, I don't, I don't really want to be high school skinny. High school skinny was borderline anorex or borderline uh, anorexic. Um, yeah. Well, we fixed it. <laughs> that was crazy. I, I really did get that a little too dark. I'm just going to try to. I mean, I don't want to get rid of my contour completely, but I definitely had too much over there. Both sides, really. I have to try to fix it again because I fixed it too well, almost. Ugh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. As long as it's not super dark over here anymore because that was redonkulous. All right. Bang Beauty smoked peach. Ooh, that's getting dark. I'm getting pan. I'm just going to do that up in here. Okay, I have at least some color in my face. Because honestly, other than a little bit of redness sometimes, especially if I've been doing a lot of physical exertion, I don't have color in my face. Let's grab this little guy here. Like this one. This is my Ofra and Nikki highlighter trio. So the eyeshadow and the I must have had something pink on my hand when I grabbed this last time. Um, gosh, apparently I'm gonna Space Baby gets used a lot. I can see that now. I'm sitting here looking like this this one is glazed donut, which I do really like. This one's Glow Goals, which has barely been used, and this one is Space Baby, which has a significant amount missing from the pan because I like that one. It has kind of a blue shift in it, and it's shiny. She's super shiny. Do a little bit on my nose and kind of up the middle here. Get a little closer because I can see how much bling I got going on. I think I got enough bling. There's enough bling. All right. Now, the real question is, do we... That is the wrong color for oil. I was, I was thinking, do we want to use this lipstick? But I think that is the wrong color blue. So that's going to be a no. One. Oh, I know what I want. Where is it? It's off camera again. Sorry, guys. It is. Also, this chair is hydraulics has issues. I have sunk as I've been doing this because the hydraulics don't like to stay up where they belong. All right. NYX Velvet Matte Midnight Muse is a lovely deep blue. Oh. Yeah, I know I didn't line that up. I usually don't. I'm not even sure if I have a dark blue lip liner. Oh, maybe I do. Nope, that's black. I do have Jet Set. Maybe I should use it. Maybe I don't care. I'll keep it on hand in case I, I screw this up.
I know you're supposed to line first. If you're going to line. I think it's fine. I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to roll. Fix. Nah, we're good. We don't need liner. We don't need no stinking liner. But what we're going to do now. So we're not going to just leave it dark blue. Although that does match the outside corner of our eyes quite well. We are going to take everything back off of our palette because we have now put everything onto our palette. And we're going to grab Mama Tutorials. Put her mostly just in the middle. Then I wonder, I can't get that off my finger, apparently. If we try to grab, God, that's all over my fingers. Like literally I cannot get it off my fingers. A little bit of the silver, yeah, just in the very middle. Kind of ombre it out. I think I need a little bit more mama tutorials here, just a tad. Yeah, there we go. I like it. It almost made it look the same color as that other lipstick. That's funny. Dude, like, it really doesn't want to come off the tip of my finger. How crazy is that? Okay. Now the question is, do we leave it like this or do we add some Star Davids? Well, I think we can try. See, I have this white from ColourPop, but I wonder if I can... Make a teeny. It's going to be hard. Oh. That is not working very well at all. Like all I'm getting, it seems is blue on my pencil. I'm not getting white. Great. And now I've got a mess on my eye. That's fantastic. All right. What's the other white one? This one is not necessarily my friend right now. It's getting empty, but at least we'll show better. Oh, uh, apparently I can't draw a freaking triangle right now to save my life. See, this one's really dying. I need, I, I need to go to So Chic and get her white one. Okay, I can't, I can't even watch this right now. Because the other one did literally nothing and this one is damn near dead. So it's not being incredibly helpful either. Okay. Oh my God. Ugh, it got too far down. Don't like it. It's just, I can't, it's so far gone. I just can't get a good solid line out of it. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And that's not sharp. You know what I might be able to do? 
See if this will work. Oh, really? Oh my God. Like literally the entire tip of what I just sharpened came right off on my eye. So that clearly didn't help me at all. Cause now if I try to draw with it, it's not sharp anymore. Okay. I mean, I've got this one. That's a pencil. Is this a stiffer pencil? Oh yeah. But that's going to hurt on my eye lid. Okay. I do have this light blue from so chic and we're just going to see if we can't outline the star and make it look better. I really should be doing this with a teeny tiny. I'm trying to do it in the camera view and I think that's part of my problem. I should be doing it. Look at this. star instead because that white dude seriously it is just so far gone and I also need to try to get that off because I need a better point to the bottom of our star oh my god I just went too high and made it worse oh god damn seriously I am failing at a star of David. Okay. That's kind of better. I'm going to go back to that super dark blue that I used for eyeliner. First of all, I'm going to fix this little white blob there. Hmm. Then I'm going to see. We might be okay. We might be saving it right now. At least now it's two tone blue. Start David. And then you know what I think we'll do? Same one. We're just going to fill it in now because we already screwed it up a little. Maybe I can go back in and make the lines of this one the light blue. Keep having to make it bigger to try to fix my boo boos. It definitely needs. That's better. Kind of. This point is nowhere near big enough. Uh, it probably isn't helping the fact that I am doing this on a not straight surface. It's on the curve of my face. What we're going to do is we're going to take this little concealer brush 
and try to clean that up a little bit with our born this way. So I have, mistakes have definitely been made, especially right here. Q-tips. I know I have Q-tips there. They are. Um, what I'm afraid of is that I'm just smudging the blue around. So I got a little concealer there and then I'm going to use this a clean. Uh, I made it worse. Now what? And then I'll take the brush again after I clean off any blue. Oh God. Yeah. There was totally blue on the end of that. Okay. Clean off the blue. Grabbing a little concealer again. Just I think we're good enough. God, that's bad. Now we're going to go back to our lighter blue from so chic. I just got that not straight. Oh, that was pretty good though. I still feel like we have a little problem right here though at the point. I think we're okay. So there's a little one on the eye and a slightly bigger one to the side of it. And I really would like to try to do a white one, but I don't know how well a white one's going to show on my pale ass. Especially kind of like right here. Why does this not even look white? Like, I mean, I know I'm pale, but how does that not even hardly look white? I, I can't even with this. That was just the biggest mess I just made on my face. And it doesn't even look like a star, David. It's like a w big, white, crazy blob. I literally have a Star of David on my shirt and hanging around my neck, but yet I can't seem to draw one on my face. I was going to say, and there's one on my menorah, but not the menorah I use today. I have two menorahs and the one I used today was the one that does not have a Star of David on it. All right. Now the question is dark blue or light blue? Maybe both.
Okay. Light blue outline. I feel like the one that's in my eyeshadow is barely even visible, which is whatever. It is what it is. I can't fix it now. Not 100% working. Ugh, I just feel like every time I try to do the dark blue into triangles, switch the lines. Oh, did anybody hear the cat? I heard her cat. Hi, Harry. How's my girl? I hope she didn't jump up here right now. Hello, sweetheart. Oof. Hi. She's right down there by my feet. Don't worry, I'm coming to bed in a few. Almost done, baby girl. That's probably exactly what she wants to know, too. But daddy's already in bed, mommy. Why aren't you in here yet? Because mommy's putting stars on her cheek. Hi, baby. I thought about trying to put another one inside, but you know what? We're going to leave it alone. <laughs> we, we really are. Because I think if I keep messing with it, I'm just going to make it worse. I'm really digging the lipstick and the eyes. I do kind of feel like it needs lashes, though. I don't like that I feel like it needs lashes. Ugh. My eyeliner won't go back where it belongs. The white one won't. Stupid. This white one goes in here. I got this lovely little treat from ColourPop the other day. Made me very happy. New eyeliner to play with. Although I'm not super thrilled with that white one. I don't know. I liked... I, I liked it... Um, the at for sight ones. Ooh, you know, I didn't think about that. Do I want to, I thought about putting it on my waterline. Never mind. I don't want to, I really don't. Okay, these are the brushes that are now all dirty and need to be cleaned. Oh, that eyeliner didn't go back yet. Under there. I don't remember what I was. I was just thinking something, and now I just forgotten what I was thinking. Other than the fact that I needed to clean up a mess, I mess a little bit. What was I thinking? Hmm. Had another idea, and I've forgotten it. Awesome. I like how my earrings, the the cool metallicy thing of the earrings, and of my pendant totally go with the metallicness of my lips and my eyeballs. I really had another thought and I have totally, totally forgotten what it was. I got nothing guys. I told, I, I legitimately forgot what I, I had an idea. Oh, I was thinking maybe it really doesn't need lashes. I don't want it to need lashes. Lashes are a pain, but I kind of feel like it does. It doesn't need lashes. No, it's not getting lashes. I just don't feel like dealing with them. I know that sounds bad, but you know, sometimes you're just not in the mood to fight with your lashes and make them want to work. I, f I feel like it'd be cute with them though. I say that like I'm joking. There really is like this big, oh, 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 I forgot about these. Oh, no, those are too big. I was thinking, ooh, I've got blue jewels, but those are really big jewels. I have little pearls. 
And somewhere in here there's other... Wow, where are the rest of my jewels? I thought I had more jewels. Oh, here. We've got these little jewels. Little sparklies. I really don't feel like I want to make that kind of a mess right now, though. All right. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not doing that. That was me joking right there. Although, I do kind of think my Ravenclaw ones could be kind of cool. They're blue just on the tips, but I don't know how much you'd see that. You know, I just think I'm going to go with my Classy J from Styles by J because I do like these. They're not too big and thick and crazy, but they are nice. They're a nice lash. Do you ever think, I'm only doing this for a picture. Can I stick them back on with whatever glue is left over from last time? <laughs> I'm legitimately thinking that right now. I'm like, hey, that kind of stuck on pretty good. Can I really stick them back? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be that, I mean, I want to be that lazy girl, but. Hello, Harry. I see you down there. She keeps coming and going from next to my feet. Where, where did we find a play with down there? <laughs> I don't know what she's batting around, but she's batting around something. Obviously, if you're putting lashes on somebody else, do not blow on them. Don't spread your germs. But these are my lashes, and they only blow on me. And it's my spit, so whatever. Well, my argument about having to fight, oh God, yeah, that's, that's so much better. My argument about not wanting to fight with my lashes just became completely void because that went on super easy. I don't think the other one will be so nice because you can never get both lashes to be that nice to you on the same day. Can you? I guess maybe. Ooh, hey, hi. I tried to stick to my finger. I think it'd be fantastic if they could both cooperate with me right away. Mostly because I want to just get this look done, get some pictures, go to bed, quite honestly. Nope, see, I knew they couldn't both be so nice. This one's being a pain on the, on the outside edge right here. Oh, God, what is it doing? There we go. Well, that still isn't horrible. Oh, yeah, that, that looks so much better with the lashes. I'm glad I did that. I mean, they're, sometimes they're a pain. Apparently, they decided to just totally prove me wrong this time and work fabulously. I wish I swear I put all my little jewels into something the last time I took them off so I could use them again but now I don't know where I put them. I just Jewels could be fun. And I had little blue ones. Well, there's some in here with those but oops, no, not those are not the ones I wanted. Hmm, I don't know what I did with them. I opened, I opened a, a tin that's in here and oh, that is not a pretty sight in there. It is a hot, hot mess. I keep looking at these thinking, do I want to put a, a pearl in there? You'd think that the eyelash tweezers would work fine for this, but apparently they do not. I'm being pain. 
Oh, that actually is really cute. Especially that one, because that one I screwed up so bad so many times. I do severely wish I had a small blue one. to put in there instead of that. They are kind of cute. And now I'm thinking, oh, I should have put a jewel in that one and had the pearls on the top and the bottom. Don't be a dick. So it doesn't want to help me out here. And then just because I have pearls over there, I kind of want to put, maybe I shouldn't put one like right here on the outside of this eye. I might change my mind right after I put these on here. I don't know. Actually, they're kind of cute. I kind of dig it. Not symmetrical. Kind of cute. What do you think? That's the, that's the look. That's how it's going to stay. My wonderful uh, Hanukkah inspired makeup. Bye guys.